Cassie's Digital Book Bag. Even though I do not know the exact title of this book, it was very important to me. When I was little, my little sister would sit in the crib, and I would sit outside the crib, and we would look at the book pictures together. The book had pictures of babies making different facial expressions, and we would say either happy baby or sad baby. It was a good memory of my sister and I when we were little. I do not know the title of this book either, but it was the first book I read independently on my own. I was in kindergarten and had some free time, so I decided to read a book. When I realized I could read the whole thing on my own, I showed my teacher. She was very impressed with me and gave me a bag to put the book in and the book so I could take it home and show my parents. A Wish to be a Christmas Tree was a favorite Christmas book for my family and I. This book sticks with me because I had a great message that said, You are perfect the way you are. I always remember this book because we read it together as a family and we read it a lot over Christmas. The Blue Ribbon Day was probably one of my favorite books as a child. In this book, a girl tries out for the school soccer team, but does not make it. Since her best friend made it, she gets very upset. For new free time, she enters the science fair and wins. This book taught me that you will not be the best at everything, and that everyone has something they will be good at. Oh, the Places You'll Go is a book that has memories connected to it for me. When I graduated fifth grade and was going to middle school, we got books that had messages from all our teachers in them. My librarian said that her final assignment to us was to read Oh, the Places You'll Go. Her message sticks with me because she included in her letter that we need to be open to new opportunities and capsize on them. This book makes me think of my time in elementary school. The A to Z mystery books were probably my favorite series when I was younger. My mom read them to me before I could read them, and then I read them on my own. I read all 26 throughout my childhood. The mysteries in these books entertained me and made me interested in reading. I remember back in elementary school when I would have to get permission from my mom to take these books out of the school library since they were chapter books. I remember getting the first book of the Wings series over Christmas. I never read it until later that year when I had a reading assignment in 6th grade English. This book is probably my second favorite series. This book matters to me because I enjoyed reading them and the stories they told. The Stung series is my favorite book series I ever read. I read both of these books in 8th grade. The story in this book is complicated and super interesting. I remember the first day the second book came out, I got it and read it in two days. I read both of the books multiple times. I'm still upset that the author is not making a third book. 